Good afternoon and welcome to the Kerry Garden Show. Alan Finn here with you again from Boils of Calorglan where I'm doing a little bit of planning because right now it may seem like the weather's changed and it's a little bit colder but we can still plan for the year ahead and have some great results. I've got a few ideas here I just need to run them past Trish and Jer. So all I have to do now is go and find them. Well, I have found our gardening experts here over by the seeds and the garlic here in Boils of Calorglan. Trish and Jar, how are we doing this week? Very good, thank you. Very good, Alan. Yeah, lovely <laughs> stuff. We've got we've got the whole colourful show set up here for us, uh, Trish, to you with this, all the seeds. That's right, yeah. A lot of people now have been ringing or coming in and they're asking, when are we getting seeds? When are we getting seeds? So, voila, here we are. <laughs> oh my goodness, so, there is quite a selection. Uh, a fantastic selection now. Stuff. Yeah, there's flowers, there's green manure, there's everything. So we'll go through a few of them. Um, a lot of people will be thinking, should we don't sow seeds until the springtime? Do you know, what are we at? Or, but if you've got your polytunnel and it's empty and you're wondering, what, what will I sow for the winter? Yeah. So what we have is lettuces. Okay. They'll actually come along. We've got radishes. Uh, Ger will be going through onions and garlic a little bit later on. Mm -hmm. um, so you can all sow all them seeds now and you will actually get your fresh leaves of let lettuce, say December, January, February. Okay, so you can even have them. You can, yeah, yeah okay. you can. And the radishes then are very quick to sprout up as well. It's the same in the summertime. You sow the seeds mm -hmm. within a couple of weeks or a month or whatever. You've, you've actually got shoots. your radishes oh, then wow. as well. Okay. So it's actually nice to still have your fresh produce this time of the year. Yeah. Do you know what you think you mightn't be able? But you definitely can. That's because I guess a lot of people would see the polytunnel and they're asking do they turn over the soil do they do yeah, different pieces what do, what do, do, do they do some even just leave them dormant for uh, a couple of weeks and stuff exactly you know? now if you didn't want to be planting anything in your veg beds outside what you can actually put into them to enrich it is a green manure so when I say a green manure you're going what am I talking about yeah I was just about to ask a green <laughs> so manure so you're talking about something like the cress or any of the sprouting seeds any okay. of them right they will actually produce nitrogen that will actually enrich the soil then okay. as well for next year yeah they'll cover it over so you won't have to worry about the weeds coming up then as well mm -hmm. and they're absolutely brilliant the cress you can use the sprouting seeds you can eat so yeah. it's still a bit it's still food for you over okay. the winter time as well but it's also going to make sure that the the soil is is perfect exactly because if you think like if you've got a veg bed outside and maybe it had the cabbages or the cauliflower the carrots the or whatever it was the yeah. Yeah. exactly it's after taking all the nutrient from the soil, the soil because yeah. it's after producing all these crops so you want to put that back into it and that's a great way of doing it and you actually it. have a crop then as well yeah brilliant you can still have something for the for the kitchen table exactly yeah, now yeah. as well as having the kitchen table the flowers then is the next thing then as well mm -hmm. um a lot of people would be looking for your sweet peas they're so for this time they're of really, the year really nice. now when you've got some there and there's there was a rather sweet pea yeah it's just a, a kathy over here exactly white. you have the mixed colors and as you say you have the white one there yeah, the now with white. the sweet pea they're not going to flower around the christmas or no. anything like that they will flower at the normal time next year mm -hmm. but you'll actually have a better plant a bigger plant and you'll have better flowers mm. so sow the seeds now and yeah. you'll definitely have lovely plants then for next and year and that, that was it you really you said that before that it's about establishing a good root system for them isn't it yeah, that's what yeah, this, time, so this time of the year especially with a lot of the wild flower seeds that's a, that's on the, the stand there as well where you have the corn flower and you have the corn cockle yeah and there's a few good mixes there get them into the soil now Soil temperatures are quite good this time of the year. Mm -hmm. You get a good uh, established plant. They're not going to flower. No. But there you're going to get a much stronger plant earlier um, next year. Let's say if you plant them kind of February, March, you've got the cold weather, mm -hmm. temperatures are fluctuating. Um, yeah. This time of the year is, is ideal to get them in. And even just planting them, Trish, are we literally just talking about sticking your little finger in the ground and then popping it in, covering it over? How, how would you right, actually just Right, well, say for example, the sweet peas. Yeah. You can actually, you grow them inside. So you can okay. have a tray or you can have little pots. Again, the sweet pea, it's kind of like a little, I don't know, about two millimetre of a, a little ball. Yeah. So they're actually quite easy to manage. Um, so you'd actually stick them into little pots or stick them into trays. Okay. When they come up with a little bit of greenery, you yeah. can actually pot them on into bigger pots and then, and they'll them. be yeah, and yeah. to be bigger. The likes of the lettuces, 
-hmm. they can be scattered into the soil okay and they can be going and you can be thinning them out then as you're going along it's the mm -hmm. same as when you're sowing in the summertime it's the exact same okay now another nice thing we have as well if people want to encourage the bees next year yes we've got some uh, some clover and stuff over here that's, that's right really you've got the one. red clover there and i've got the white clover over here yeah. and you'd sow the seed of them now and they'll obviously produce the flower next may june then the usual time as mm -hmm. well but again mm -hmm. So on the seed this time of the year, it's just you've better plants, you've better structure, and mm. you've better flowering then for next year then as well. And you can really, you can really plan plan your colours as well too because there's so many options you can here, you know? yeah you've it's got the plain colours or you've got the mixed colours yeah. as you say like there's even pansies there as well. They're winter pansies. You can be planting them now or if you want to hold on to them and just you know take your packets and be kind of yeah. planning over the winter time mm -hmm. and you can actually sow them in the springtime then as well yeah. so it's i suppose like this time of the year it's all about planning thinking ahead what's your garden lacking mm -hmm. where do i need the color so Ger, uh, we also have uh, some some options down here with peas and broad beans uh, which are also good uh, to get in the ground yeah so well. the broad beans if you get them started now this time of the year you, you'll have them um, hopefully a little bit earlier next year so you will have hopefully a crop maybe april uh, may next year mm -hmm. um, and the, the, the same the same with the peas it's all about again like uh, trish uh, said it's all about uh, forward planning mm -hmm. uh, the more you plan the better you you are rewarded um, into the into the season next year, mm -hmm. and I suppose with with the likes of all of this, if you are planting outside, just make sure your 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 beds are weed free um, and add some um, organic uh, matter. So add your farmyard manure, add your um, add your farmyard manure, or add your horse manure, and that'll all enrich the soil for 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 a better crop next year. Okay. Right, so let's move on to some onions and some garlic, Ger, because you're going to be smelling. You're going to be smelling great <laughs> over there, so you are. <laughs> Halloween is coming. Halloween, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Tell us a bit about that's what it. we need. No, so the garlic has got very, very popular over the last uh, number of years. Um, like last year, everyone that bought garlic plants last year, mm -hmm. but they've come into us and they've said how great their crops are, wow. you know, and that they, they haven't had to buy a shop bought uh, garlic, garlic at all this year. Yeah. Um, and you could like you can use garlic in absolutely everything. Oh, um, absolutely. Any, so no, can... it's, a, it's a good one. And if you have space to, to plant outside, okay. um, now, is, uh, now is the time to, to start preparing. And the fact again, though, that they're bulbs, you know, I'm guessing that if you're putting them outside, it's got to be a well-drained soil. It has to be well-drained soil. Yeah. So, um, I wouldn't be adding your farmyard manure, horse manure to the soil for these. Um, okay. If you're adding anything, you'd be adding horticultural grit or horticultural sand. Um, okay. That'll enhance it. They prefer a sandy loam soil. Uh, with the garlic, you'll be planting them about five at a, five centimeters into the into the ground. Okay. So they're they're not going too far not in. Too far down it's nearly here. like planting a, planting an onion. A few tricks before you get to the planting. Okay. Is um, they like cold weather. I know we 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 say it every year. Right. Um, what I mean by cold weather, they like uh, frosty weather when they're being planted. Oh, okay. So, so this October, is like what you were saying before about putting the garlic in the fridge. In the fridge, yeah. yeah. I remember that, so yeah. October, November, they have been milder, milder months. Um, so to get the temperature down, put them into the fridge, not the freezer, into the fridge yeah. for about 10 days to two weeks and plant them then uh, after, after, um, after they're after being that, in the fridge. Yeah. Um, and again, like the... If we get, do get a cold winter, it is better for this. You get better flavor into the garlic okay. uh, and it's better for the plant. When you're planting then as well, uh, is to make sure that there's a, bit, a, a nice bit of space in between the plant because they like ventilation. So you don't want any pests um, or disease coming in, 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 in on your garlic. And that applies for the onion as well. So get a good, um, get a good spacing, maybe about three to four inches between, between each plant. Mm -hmm. And if you're going in lines, maybe two to three inches as well. Um, okay. be between your lines because yeah. they do like ventilation yeah. um, and if they were ne nearly propped up so raised beds would be ideal okay. um, so they're not sitting sitting into the into the ground raised beds they're kind of more free draining mm. so they're not getting that water logging and how about let's just say if you had some potatoes uh, over the last while would they be good to put in the ground where you kind of had the potatoes like you know how you would have the raised you see they'd be better where you're planting your carrots okay, um, because right. you've got your sandy loam soil yes okay, um, similar soil. with the uh, with the potatoes it'd be too rich there'd okay. be too much uh, organic material so there'd be too much farmyard manure and things okay, like so that so they could be there put them in for so the carrots. carrots are where your onions were uh for the last year even your lettuces and things like that yeah that, that, that soil would be okay that well, that's, that's, that's good to know and i suppose on that then if you are on a rotation system as well, um, crop rotation, 
um, kind of keep your onions and um, and carrots let's say keep them in separate beds or keep them together but on a, on a rotation if yeah. you know what I mean okay uh, and we have onions there as well um, you don't have to put the onions into the fridge they can go okay, straight they go straight, yeah. <laughs> they can go but straight again, into is the it ground. a good time for them do they like the colder so, there so they, they do they, they, again with the with the spring uh, with the winter onions the colder the weather the more flavor you get into okay, into your right. onions um, again well drained soil for them uh, if you plant now you're still not getting your onion till May June next year um, but you're getting a, you should be getting a, a bigger a bigger crop okay. the same with the garlic you plant now you're looking at April May next year and, and, and tastier by the sounds of things tastier should be tastier <laughs> exactly uh, Trish you've also got some herbs here as well I have uh, yes which is uh, another thing that people like to grow even just inside or in a kind yeah, of conservatory see, or something like that now I suppose everybody likes to have a few herbs around the Christmas time mm -hmm. so you've got your rosemary you have, if you have your lamb, the rosemary can be planted in a pot on its own. As you say, you don't exactly have to plant them off out in the garden now. Yeah. When the days are wet or whatever, you want your herbs up near the house that you can just run out and take your little bits. Yeah. So that's your rosemary and that can be planted into a separate pot because they actually grow quite large eventually. Okay. Again, just use ordinary compost with a bit of grit, make sure there's good drainage in the bottom of it, put it into the shelter of the house. So that'll come on nicely. Right. If you wanted to plant up a little window box, you could put your chives in it. Okay. So you could put a couple of chives, maybe a chives here and a chives there, and then you've got your thyme. thyme and you lovely. can put your thyme to the front, so that'll actually trail down. Okay. And you can be nipping away. Now, if you're not using them regularly, whether it's the thyme or the chives or the mint. You still need to pair them back, don't you? You do, yeah. yeah you still need to keep... encouraging keep, the growth. And it gives nice fresh growth, and obviously the flavor is nicer then fresh when you've got the too. fresh. Yeah. Now, we've also got a mint here then as well that's the common garden mint Lovely. again that's another one that needs to be planted on its own okay. in a bigger pot okay. if you plant that into the ground it just spreads all around the place all right so just oh, put that in. Now the wind just caught it there. Just now. caught I it and you can get the, the fragrance yeah. of it. So like that then, just put that into a separate pot on its own. Okay, and so again, that and the rosemary. That and the rosemary and, and then you've got, now if people have herbs in the garden already, they just need to be cut back. You can actually take little bits off them and you can freeze them. Okay. Yeah. And then you can have them then over the winter time as well. Or some just go through them. Like some of them need, require drying and some of them require freezing. So they'll come on nicely then as well. And plus that, you have a lovely scent around the door then as well. Absolutely. Between your mint and your rosemary. Yeah. yeah. And have you got some uh, some tips there as well too about some uh, fruit? Um, yes, yeah, so all like fruit fruit coming into November. We're starting into the, to the pruning back um, when, when they're dormant. So like the, the, the plums and the pears here, um, what you want to do, when you, we, we'll go through it a little bit more detail in a couple of weeks, uh, you want to keep them um, clear in the center. Again, you want ventilation yes. coming up through them. Okay. So I'll to prevent sure. pests and disease, and when you're pruning, we've got a couple of different products. Um, so when you're pruning, and especially if you have big apple trees that you're taking big limbs off, it's uh, important to get the, the pruning prune seal, seal. Um, okay. just to cover up that uh, that cut. So um, that will prevent any kind of disease getting into the actual exactly, plant. Exactly, and yeah, the tree. yeah, any moisture. Um, so no, that's uh, that's a valuable one to have, and okay. that goes for pruning anything. So if you were pruning oaks, ash, anything like that, uh, big limbs, get your pruning seal on, and that'll um, that'll prevent the shock of it. Okay. With your apple trees, then as well. To prevent the likes of earwigs, your winter moths, uh, right. your caterpillars uh -huh. from getting up and you know doing the damage over the winter, getting their nesting done. We have uh, tree bands. So you literally just put this around the, the, the outside of the, the plant okay. uh, and it stops the stops any pests from, so they from getting up they into the plant. Like they, they, they don't like it, in other words, they don't like, like it one bit, do they? <laughs> or if you want, uh, if you want uh, we have the grease as well. Oh, so you literally okay. just get a lump of grease in your hand, put it around the base of the base of the plant maybe about a foot or two foot up, up off the ground yeah uh, and that just discourages it from going through okay well that's uh, so good. it's just a couple of couple of little tips for this time of the year brilliant brilliant excellent well that's great that's a, that's been a jam-packed show absolutely jam-packed with flowers veg uh, herbs and uh, your fruit tree so that's great listen jurors uh, Jur and Tracia never cease to amaze uh, thanks a million for all your great tips and all the help this week on the garden show that's pretty much it from us until next week Happy gardening.